Well, I'm leaving Tennessee and headed to North Carolina this morning. I'll be camping at Santitla Lake, which is the vacation spot for my friend Faye who passed last year. 2020 wasn't an easy year for many of us and losing Faye and her beautiful farm as a destination for camping and painting was hard. So tonight, Santitla. See you later. Well, this is a first. It's been pouring rain before I could get all packed up and I can't get out due to the mud. I'm just off the gravel enough that that's a problem. I'll see if I can get some help. Ah, oh, what a start to a day. I seem to follow an awful lot of red cars during the big storm in the prairies. Just following a red car. Maybe they're a good luck sign. something that first hundred miles rain wet traffic construction yeah everything so I'm getting gas now and back on the road gas price is here 271 for unleaded traffic in Chattanooga Chattanooga choo choo I saw the turnoff to see the Chattanooga Choo Choo, but I decided not to go there. Yeah, I'm not a tourist or a touristy type. I like the clouds and the trees and some of the scenes I shared with you earlier today. This traffic isn't bad though. I've got a good audiobook, Sapiens, talking about why humans are the way we are. Very interesting scientific type book. Yeah, it ain't fiction, but it's fun. So I've got to go left up here towards Knoxville, and I should be back up in the mountains in another hour or two. You know, as I cruise along at this low speed, I don't mind sharing with you, I had forgotten how East Coast storms and clouds manage themselves with their cells. I mean, you can get a cloud, cloudy day like this and you may not get any rain at all. And just like across the prairie, if you have any point of visibility, you can see the rain coming down. Well, this morning I got absolutely drenched with about three inches of rain as I was trying to pack up.
off for the Terracola Highway. And that's one of the roads that everybody says you need to ride. And there's lots of motorcyclists now, most of them with GoPros like me. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bite to eat since I got so rained on this morning, I had nothing to eat. Thank you. No, oh, this rain is just really sucky. <laughs> no views. Those of you who've never ridden on a motorcycle can now understand why riding in the rain is so treacherous. And uh, I hope you'll appreciate Anytime you see a motorcyclist with his rain suit on or riding in the rain beside you while you're comfortable in your car, it's no fun sometimes, but the joy of it is being able to say we did it. That's kudzu on the left. This is an invasive plant that was introduced from Japan in the 1930s and it's completely taken over the south. It's very sad to see the native vegetation buried in this vine. I, I am grinning from ear to ear as I run this Joyce Kilmer Road heading to 129. I'm being sprinkled on and I'm looking out at a lake 
lake. I am literally reliving the spoiled weekend of the Girl Scouts from so many years ago. I was probably all of eight, seven years old when that memory came to me. Now I've got these wonderful roads. Absolutely no traffic. <laughs> and I'm getting rained on and I love it because it's not cold at all. The phone needs to be covered. So it's getting covered. It doesn't like rain. I probably will spring for a hotel room because I don't know if I want to camp in rain. <laughs> Never hug the yellow line. Not safe. It's raining a lot. <laughs> Updates in a minute. I'm in a hotel room. <laughs> After looking at the campsite and seeing how small it cramped it was, even though it was in a lovely location, and the fact that it was raining cats and dogs when I went there, I said shoot, I'll just go all the way into Robbinsville and see if I can get a hotel room there. And lo and behold, that place is empty because of the rainstorm. There's about five bikes down in the parking lot on a Sunday evening. And so my dragons parked next to them, trailers unhooked and chained to a post. And it's weird after being on the road for a week to um, not take all of the things that I used every night in the tent up here. It's odd. I mean, I have a bed, I have pillows. <laughs> ah, I'm still having adventures, still positive about it all, and uh, very happy to be in a hotel room with hot shower right around the corner. <laughs> ah, and hot coffee, 24 hours, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm.